Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We're gonna start a short series on tanning. And before we even get into the product, we're gonna discuss what I never even considered when I was competing, which is skin prep. How the acidity and the different soaps you use and you know, if you're using a specific kind of soap or, um, I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff that goes into uh, how we do this, Adam. So. Uh, Tell, tell me what you advise for your clients in just prepping their skin for the tanning product. Yeah. So first consideration is what type of exercises you're doing. So if you're doing a lot of setups and stuff that rubs on certain parts of your back, those areas are just going to be more exfoliated than other areas. So you need to be careful that you're, you know, not doing box jumps, something that might risk like scraping up your entire shin or deadlifts. Um, just making sure that you're not causing any imperfections in the skin. And I would say one week out is perfect for that. So you shouldn't really be doing anything crazy during your peak week anyhow. But exfoliating is huge. And uh, that's why I kind of like this product, Get Buffed by Protan. Um, not only does it exfoliate your skin, but also balances your pH, which is huge. Um, I think we've all seen it a show or two. Um, a year we see people green, and that's right. usually yeah. because there's a pH imbalance. It's not that they're trying to look like the Incredible Hulk, but um, they accidentally pull that off. So that's definitely huge, using that the week of the show and making sure you're getting off as much uh, dead skin cell as you can before you actually get your tan on. And then also avoiding any lotions or anything like that a couple days out is key. I'll also add avoid tanning in general because it's just going to possibly pull water underneath of your skin, especially if you get burnt because you know your top coat's going to take care of your color. And I see that being a big pitfall for people as they get burnt in the tanning bed Wednesday before the show and then they wonder why they look watery because their skin's trying to heal by holding water. Yeah, and are there different types of exfoliating products or skin prep? I know you have the protein there. Are there are there other types that people may find work better for them? Yeah, I I think just a homemade remedy of uh, Dawn soap can be really good with some salt as an exfoliant in there could work because the salt can kind of scrape the skin, or just even using a loofah can be you know beneficial as well. So. Do you see a difference like this? My wife is part of her gift store. She has her own bath and body product line that she makes. And so it's, uh, you know, all natural, no, no dyes, no artificial colors. Uh, it's, it's because it's made with essential oils. It does, it just naturally keeps you from even really needing lotion. Have you ever seen a difference in people using that kind of product, you know, in, instead of just ivory soap or something like that? Yeah, not specifically that I could say. So I've always been careful and always probably, you know, use the protein stuff just because I know it works well with any tanning product. So I've always erred on the side of caution with that just in case, but not saying that that wouldn't work either. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if that would make the pH, you know, more neutral or better because I know with with the use of lye and things like that i mean that is the goal you make like a ph perfect soap product so mm -hmm. maybe something to consider but you know you, you mentioned tanning and i agree that you know there used to be a day where people felt like they had to get tan uh and be in a tanning bed and all that and besides the the, the horrific risk to your skin you know are you saying that it's really just completely not necessary and you just wouldn't worry about that at all yeah, it's really not necessary that close. You're not going to naturally achieve that much darkness from a bed, you know, uh, a week out. So, it, you know, if you are tanning, if you choose to go that route, um, you know, two weeks out, I think would be appropriate. And then start using um, some kind of pro tan product if you need to be a little darker before you actually get your base coat on. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we agree on that. I'd say it's just something I would rather see people not do for their health. Same but uh, guys, thanks for uh, watching and listening. And we're going to move into part two of this series where we talk about the actual tanning process and potential products. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there for the, that continuation.